I asked ChatGPT to give me the best budget PC build and you will find out if you can actually trust this AI or not to buy a good gaming PC for the price. Now, for those who don't know what ChatGPT is, it's basically an artificial intelligence chatbot developed by OpenAI. Now, you will have both the PC build that this software created as well with my PC build that we are going to compare with. I think this is going to be pretty interesting. So, what I wrote was, give me the best budget PC build. And the bot replied with a list of components and then explained what this PC is capable of running. However, we are going to find out if it's actually worth the price or not for this type of PC build. If you don't know anything about components, don't worry about it, I will explain what the PC that the bot gave me is actually capable of doing and then I'm going to create my list and do the same thing. Now, the bot created a PC for 1080p, I told him to create a budget system and the total price for this PC ended up being 724 bucks, so I think the term budget it really depends on the person but i believe 700 dollars is actually a budget pc so good job there for the cpu we have the ryzen 5 36 sangrid then for the motherboard we have the msi b450m pro bdh max for the gpu we have the gtx 1650 super for the ram the corsair lpx 16 gigs of ram kit 2x8 then for the storage we have the kingston a2500 gig mbme ssd for the power supply the evga 500 watt w1 80 plus wide power supply and then for the case we have the fractal design focus g mini micro atx case basically to make it simple the ryzen 5 3600 i think it's a really good choice considering that even though it's becoming old this is still a great cpu for gaming it's really similar in terms of price to the ryzen 5 5500 at the moment even though the bot said that it's 200 dollars it's actually 105 and the ryzen 5 5500 it's around 98 bucks that being said they are both really similar performance so you might as well save up some money and go with the ryzen 5 5500 then for the motherboard i I don't agree going with this motherboard because it's a B450M one and the price it's around 140 bucks actually. It's not $80 like the bot said. Some of these prices are outdated but don't worry because I will tell you the real price of this whole system at the end. Then for the GPU, the GTX 1650 Super, I think we can do so much better than this especially for the price of $210 or the actual price $230. I believe that we can cut prices in other stuff and put it on the GPU which is the most important component for gaming and get a much better gaming experience and much higher FPS. Then for the storage, the bot picked the Kingston A2000 500 gig NVMe SSD, definitely an overpriced kit. It's going for 65 bucks and honestly, you can get a $50 one terabyte of Gen 3 SSD that is literally going to perform the same. Now for the power supply, this is where I have a problem with you buying this power supply. We have the EBGA 500 W1 500 watt 80 plus power supply. This is an F tier rated on the quality list, meaning that it's a replaced immediately. You don't want to buy this power supply even for low-end systems like this one, especially because we have a dedicated graphics card as well. So this is my main problem with the PC build, even if you get the 1650 Super because you like Nvidia and you get the Ryzen 5 3600, the main mistake here is going with that power supply. And then for the case, we have the Fractal Design Focus G Mini. I don't have any issues with this power supply, it has a front mesh panel, decent airflow, but the price right now is going for $66. I think there are much better and nicer options out there that we can choose from. Now the real total price for this PC is not 724 bucks, it's actually 710. I decided to create my PC with a limit of 724 because that's what the bot told me at first and I think we did so much better. But let me explain why. On my build we have the Ryzen 5 5500 and this is the part where there's basically no difference with the Ryzen 5 3600 like I mentioned previously. Then we have a much better motherboard, the MSI B550M Pro BDH Wi-Fi. This one, like the name says, includes Wi-Fi, it has better features for gaming overall and you get the BIOS flash back bottom if you need it. Then for the memory kit I picked the Adata XPG Gamix D20. This is going for 40 bucks so you are saving money by going with this one and the performance trust me it's going to be the same as the other kit since both are 16 gigs of RAM kit dual channel of DR4 at 3200 megahertz CL16 memory. Now for the storage this is a much better option. I picked the Team Group MP34 going for 50 bucks instead of overspending and going with 500 gigs so, so here you're getting more storage for your games while spending less money. 
Then for the graphics card, I picked the Radeon RX 6650 XT, going for $300 at the moment. Yes, this is much more expensive than the 1650 Super, but it really doesn't matter because the total price at the end is going to be really similar. For the case, I picked the Salman S2. This one comes with three pre-installed fans and it has a front mesh panel. Great airflow for this type of system. Now, if you want something with RGB or something with better aesthetics, you're looking to spend 20 to 30 extra bucks. And last but not least, the power supply the Thermaltake BM2 550 watt 80 plus bronze power supply going for 53 bucks. This is a C tier rated power supply, meaning that it's going to be much safer than the bot gave me. And for this type of build, you shouldn't have any issues with the VM2. Now, the total price will be $721, meaning that it's actually $10 more expensive than the bot PC build, but you are getting much better performance. The RX 6650 XT is going to destroy that GTX 1650 Super when it comes to 1080p gaming. And on top of that, the 6650 XT can do some 1440p gaming depending on the game and the settings, while the 1650 Super is not going to be able to do that. So if you have a 1440p monitor and you're asking the bot for a budget PC build, trust me, this is not the way to go. Like I said, this graphics card is around 50% faster when it comes to gaming than the 1650 Super, and you're only spending 10 extra bucks. On top of that, you're also getting more storage, a better motherboard, a much better quality power supply, so overall, I think the bot didn't do great, however, it didn't suck. After the bot gave me the PC build, it says this PC build should be able to handle most modern games at 1080p with decent graphics settings, which is not a lie, actually the 1650 Super and the 3600 should be able to run 1080p games, even the modern ones pretty easily, high settings, however, it's not ideal on this budget. If you want a 1650 Super, I would recommend you getting a used one, since you're going to get it for much less. Consider that right now the 1650 Super is 230 bucks, I wouldn't buy it under any circumstance. The reason why is because the RX 6600 is actually around the same price, it's going to give you much better performance. So, can you really trust the bot to give you a PC build? Well, at the budget level, if you want a budget PC without any specific budget in mind, like I don't know, 500 or 800 dollars, then I wouldn't trust the bot. However, we are going to ask for more budget in future videos, so if you're interested in that, leave a like and subscribe, but most importantly, hit that bell button so you get notified when I upload them. And if you have any questions about PC builds or Perl PC, let me know in the comment section, I will try to reply as fast as possible. By the way, if you're looking for the best PC build for your budget, I have my website, it's pretty easy to use, the only thing that you have to do is click your favorite game, your budget, and you will see what the system is capable of running at which resolution. Thank you guys for watching, thank you for your support, and I will see you on the next one.